Everyone in the business knew the plans for next year's Lynx models were hot stuff. You could auction them off and spend the rest of your life on the beach in the Bahamas. That is, if I ain't on the case, then you'd be breaking rocks in Alcatraz. The competitors would sell their mothers to get their hands on those plans and to avoid the embarrassment of it, the way our boys in the development department kept coming up with hot new stuff year after year. Like in 1970, when we introduced the world's first suspended extension. In 1978, we built a transmission system that other manufacturers still haven't matched. In 1980, we incorporated the slide rail system in wide track models. And in 1987, we built the world's first synchros, snowmobiles with gear shifting at speed. As for next year, I knew they were ready to do anything for a look at what we'd come up with. But even I didn't expect such high-flying schemes. It's lucky that when I was a boy scout camping next to the Girl Scout camp, I learned one thing. Be prepared. I jumped into the saddle of my Lynx 250 Synchro. I was prepared to chase those dirty rats to the end of the earth. Those plans would bring them nothing but grief. That is, if I had anything to say about it. The synchro gained speed under me like a thoroughbred. The only difference was, the synchro had more power than 20 horses. The easy ride suspension swallowed the bumps like my Uncle Fritz drinking beer at the Dew Drop Inn. The gears clicked into place like handcuffs on a gangster's wrists. But the jingling in my ears wasn't from the gears. It was the bell on a reindeer's neck. The next thing I saw was the reindeer herder. But what made me sit up and take notice was his brand new snowmobile. Seems like you can use the short track GL230 for just about anything, even herding reindeer. But with its sure handling and easy ride slide rail suspension, it's also a lot of fun for the kids to take for a spin. I wasn't sure what she was after, but she made me an offer I couldn't refuse. So, we traded snowmobiles, and uh, that's not all. <laughs> Once again, I found myself admiring just how well the 250 moves in deep snow, even without synchro. In conditions like these, the way it went through the snow warmed an old private eye's heart. And so did the hand warmers. They're standard on every Lynx. I could keep my hands warm even without a dame. I was just getting those thugs in my sights when they tried the old get lost in the crowd trick. I'm too old to believe in old magic, so I hopped on brand new magic, a GL3300, and merged with the circus. That 
was my big mistake. Because if you're a private eye, there's only one thing wrong with the GL3300. You can't travel incognito. People notice you wherever you go. Good thing for me, it has a 34 horsepower engine. That's standard equipment. It's got a short track and easy ride suspension too. Put all that together and you can shake off busybodies with no trouble at all. Well, my problems were small compared with theirs. But the terrain had decided to try and get tough with me. So I jumped on a GL3900 synchro. I bet those guys are starting to wish they had a synchro too. A little reverse, a quick U-turn, and a touch of synchro, and I'd tame the roughest punches the terrain could throw at me. Well, they made it this time. So I decided to step up the pressure. I turned my snowmobile's nose into the wind so it could smell action. I found action too, but it wasn't the kind I was looking for. The boys had a GLS 3300 on the starting line, but no rider to break in her 54 horses. Seems like they didn't understand the way a lynx thinks. A powerful engine is always combined with powerful control. Take this GLS, for example. With its special front suspension and carbide runners that bite into snow like hot lead through ice cream, plus the easy ride rear suspension, I was ready to take the rough and take it smooth. The twin carburetor engine carried my snowmobile along like a magic carpet, while the variator made sure the track obeyed every little touch of the accelerator. Things really got moving then, which is more than I can say for those other guys. The Easy Ride slide rail system kept the carbide runners tight in the track, even when I gave the GLS her head, and she was hugging the curves and heating up the straightaway, like my cousin Ned racing to the bar for happy hour. Like I always say, you can't choose your family, but you can choose your snowmobile. The Lynx slide rail system and suspension have plenty for other snowmobile makers to learn from. Now I understand what they mean when they say it's lonely at the top. I took the trophy, and then I went after another prize. I whipped up all 54 horsepower of my GLS 3300, and off I went at full gallop. But those hoods had switched over to the heavy artillery. It looked like they were trying to throw me off the trail. Well, two can play that game. I hopped on a 650. Into first gear, a 60 centimeter track with a variator like only Lynx makes them. Gives you grip and pull that would make a lesser man's head swim. I had almost two and a half square meters of track under me. And with fantastic torsion, I soon had those crooks panting for breath. 
But as for me and my 650, no sweat. Mm -hmm. They watch the 650 climb the same way as other snowmobile makers do. They were cross-eyed. Suddenly, I heard a whistle, and that gang disappeared like my brother Al when the collection plate comes around. That train is on time just once a year. Why does it have to be this time? Good thing I used to be a Boy Scout. I was prepared. I climbed on a brand new GLX 5900, which has got everything you need, plus synchro gears for when you need them too. The track drew figures in the snow like Picasso, and the carbide runners cut a groove as sharp as a knife. As I raced along the railroad track, I understood why the Army and Frontier Guards used this model. In fact, the pros and the free time users were always arguing about whether the GLX 5900 is better for work or play. The answer was clear as glass, just as good for both. As I was waiting, I considered what those crooks were about to discover. It's no good trying to shift gears at speed if you don't have synchro. I bet those guys didn't think their high-flying schemes would end up running into so much trouble. Well, the cops can pick up the pieces. It's a good thing the police commissioner is an old friend of mine, so I don't have to go into any long explanations, unless the story makes the front page. But of course, we didn't want that, did we? We forgot all about that pretty quick. My friend had a new GLX Finlandia Synchro. It's a fantastic machine with first-rate technology. You just have to feel it for yourself. The gentleman of the snowfields. That's what the wordsmiths call it. So those other gentlemen, the ones who visited our factory, got what they deserved. And nobody would get at the secret of our plans. That would remain a mystery forever. At least until the new range of Lynx snowmobiles appeared. Back at the office, my secretary was waiting. She had troubles of her own. Somebody had stolen the vacation roster. The vacation roster. Those dopes stole the wrong papers. Thank you.